Well, I guess it's not an especially busy night for perversion. That's a strong word. You disapprove. Of what? Nondescript doorways? I haven't seen anything yet. Uh, this is a uh, private club. I need to see your membership cards. <clears throat> FBI, we'd like to speak to your manager. This is terrible. I wonder I haven't seen them recently. I should have realized something was wrong when Madeline let her membership lapse. She was one of our more popular submissives. Submissives? Oh, yes. Uh, she found this a comfortable place to arrange her discomfort. To arrange it? So, the actual contact. That doesn't take place here? We're not a brothel. We're a social club that caters to individuals who happen to share common interests. What they do once they leave here is of their own concern. So you don't know anyone that might have had a common interest in them? Like I said, I didn't follow them out the door. Hi. Us again. Would you excuse us? Do you recognize any of these women? They're dead, aren't they? Why would you say that? Well, your badges, your FBI. I, I suppose they may have been kidnapped if it's a federal case, but eh, it feels like death to me. A little light reading? Yeah, light. It's, it's all about the light. You do know where you work, don't you? What better place for light than the dark? The management lets you preach to the clientele? Oh, I don't, I don't preach here. I work here. But when the sad souls tire of, of trying to fill the void with one another, they know where to find me. We meet on Wednesday nights. You should join us. Uh, yeah, thanks. Look, do you remember seeing any of these women leave with anyone in particular? Yes, but you won't find him here. We don't let him in anymore. Well, you got a name? Cole Brandt, middle son of Philip Marshall Brandt and Catherine Pemberton Brandt. Only income Myris knows about is stock dividends and interest, so I'm guessing the family's got money and it's probably ancient. You sure this is the right guy? He's not on the club membership rolls. The doorman said Brandt was banned from the club three months ago. I guess he didn't play nice. Banned from an S&M club for bad manners? <laughs> Impressive. Any priors? Uh, nothing. Got an address, though. Oh, and uh, one other thing. What's that? He's hot. L.A. You gotta have real money to afford a neighborhood this crappy. What's the plan? Ask him about dead girlfriends. Good plan. <laughs> no, that sounds like. Probable cause. FBI, freeze! Put your hands up! Don't move! Don't move! Cole? I is this part of the thing? Sex police. How charming. I thought John Ashcroft resigned. Are you still working for J. Edgar? We were responding to screams. Screams of pleasure. You do know the difference, don't you? I'll bet Agent Locke does. Special agent. Very special. How long have you known Mr. Brandt, Miss Fuller? What's going on? We break a law. Any chances you met him at a club? That's where these women met him. Yeah, I knew them. I won't deny it. And yes, I was intimate with them. I'm sorry they're dead. Particularly Maddie. She was fun. Okay, that was brisk. Is this personal? Did you know her? You did. Well, thought you did anyway. But Maddie didn't go in for Boy Scouts. She wasn't buying your cookies, was she? You know she put guys like you away. 
I feel judged. Do you feel judged? I can't believe that's the best way to solve a case. It's not just me you're judging, Paul. You're judging these women, too. You don't stop judging and start empathizing. How can you expect to catch their killer? So, are you saying he's some sort of Ted Bundy or something? I'm not saying anything, Miss Fuller. I'm just saying that that's how three of his last dates ended up. Are you all right, Miss Fuller? Yeah. Um, is it warm in here? Am I under arrest? Not yet. If your playmate verifies that it was consensual, you're free to go. She verified it back in my loft. Well, that was with you standing there. Paige Fuller is one of the most powerful literary agents on the West Coast. You really think I have that kind of control over her? Well, it could have been the chains. I don't know. Call me crazy. What about you, very special agent Locke? Who do you think had the real power in that room? It's generally understood that the submissive is the one in control. That's right. They can end the game at any time. All they have to do is say the word. So did these women forget the word? Is that why they're dead? Wow. That's the best you can do. You really are such a bottom, aren't you, Paul? Though I'm not convinced you're the dominant one around here. So who is top dog, huh? Maybe who's ever behind that glass? Kick him loose. He hasn't asked for a lawyer. The more we talk to him... The more he learns. He's playing you. Both of you. If he's our killer, he already knows too much. Kick him loose. So what? Romeo gets to skate, huh? We didn't have enough to hold him. Yeah, a lot of that going around. Three years ago, Inland Empire serial rape case. Guess who was the prime suspect? Cole Brandt. Mm -hmm. Never charged. None of the Vicks could ID him. Guess why? He wore a mask. <clears throat> so, uh, when did you first suspect Cole Brandt was your rapist, Detective Strong? It's just Bill, now that I'm retired. Bill. And we liked Brandt right off. We linked him to all the victims. He dated them, slept with most of them. But he wouldn't take yes for an answer. Excuse me. Thanks. Fishing trip. You said on the phone you still have your case notes? Yeah, yeah. Brance was one of a couple of cases that I brought home with me when I quit the force. Thought maybe I'd find the time to pursue them on my own, close them out. It's all just been collecting dust. I uh, pulled everything for you. You're welcome to it. Come on back. So the first victim, Margie Stans, she identified Brand as a rapist. Then she recanted. Why do you think that was? He got to her. What, he threatened her? No, no, no. This guy doesn't operate like that. No, he got to her. And she was cooperating. We were building a case. And then one day she comes in crying, saying that she loved the guy. It was all a big mistake. After that, it was just a game to him. Was he your only suspect? We chased some other leads, but ruled him out. I mean, so you, you think he's killing him now? You sound surprised. Well, I mean, don't get me wrong. This guy's plenty bad. He just, you know, he didn't seem the type to do him permanent, you know? Dead girls don't cry. Maybe it didn't start out like that. If the rape or the rape fantasy got out of control. Hmm. This guy doesn't get out of control. <laughs> 